Yeah, that's why you listen to HomegrownRadio.net with the homie Chuck Dizzle. This is Too Short, and you heard it straight from me, bitch. Bringing radio back to its roots is HomegrownRadio.net. Chuck Dizzle on the line with the legend from the Bay, Mr. Too Short. Now, I see you in this situation with Messy Marv. Heard your interview with Ozone. Read his interview with All Hip Hop. He got a diss track. You got a diss track. I mean, break down the situation and where you guys at with it right now. Well, at first, like when I talked to Ozone, I was like, okay, I'm dealing with like one of the little homies from the Bay. He emotional about some stuff. You know, the homies, they always get a little a little frustrated with me or Foley. they like, man, I'm, I was expecting Foley to help me with this or short help me with that or rap on this for me or put me on a show or, or put a record out for me. They just always like, man, if they're going to do something for me, we do as much as we can. I know I do. We work with a lot of artists that don't have name brand status. We work with a lot of artists that have no status. They're just up and coming. We work with the local artists on every level. We just feel like that's the they love. But it's not like that. We, we do it because we owe you. you know, we just uphold the scene, man. It's not, it's not like a written law so you you got to look out for everybody that's, that's trying to come up behind you. That ain't no, that ain't no rap law. But I thought I was dealing with emotions, man. I was, I was sit there. I talked to 40. I talked to OGs like Richie Red. I talked to some of the homies, you know, around the Bay, like, you know, like people that really know know him from, from uh, you know, from, from his world. And everybody said the same thing. They said, short, that's his name, messy, and that's just how he get down. You know, and you're going to waste your breath. Because he's been about two weeks. He's going to say he's sorry. He's going to make up with you. And everything he said about you, you know, you know this is going to go away. And... I've said, you know what, man? I I ain't never, I never rather mad about a rapper. I want to battle. I don't battle rapper. I don't battle, rap, I don't battle no rapper, no rap battle, no cipher, no just records back and forth and all stuff. So I let it go. But then, you know, the man proceeded to what I call character assassination. When you're sitting there and you're lying about some real stuff and you're passing it on to your cyber world imaginary friends like this reality so I, I still I live man it's been like two weeks since this man been yelling F me and F at too short on, on I, I, the first thing I said was dude meet me somewhere it could be to talk or it could be whatever just meet me somewhere I noticed that I noticed you did reach back out to him like yo let's let's go ahead and make this happen or whatever the case may be but there was nothing from that point where you guys got a chance to meet up I talked to him on the phone <laughs> I talked to him on the phone, man. I told, I told you in the interview. We got off the phone. Everything was cool. And then he started texting me, but I don't respect him. I text him back, dude, I respect you, man, 100%, man. Just, you know, we you know, we, we ain't got no middleman in front of us no more. It's cool. Let's just talk, whatever, right? Right. He, he texts me back like I don't respect him. Then he gets on Twitter and F me, F me, F me, F me. So I kick back. I let him air it all out. And I told him on the phone when I talked to him, I said, I said dude, I'm not mad at you. And I'm not going to retaliate or anything. I said, the only thing I'm telling you right now, the only thing I'm going to say that we can't do is this can't go forward on the computer stuff. This computer stuff got to stop. Right. So he, he like, yeah, yeah, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Everything cool. But then he jumped right back on the computer. I'm like, man, you got my phone number. Like, what, what is the computer going to do? That the phone if, can't got do. got my number. <laughs> yeah, we, we can meet up anywhere. I don't care who you bring, whatever. Just say where. So that that's what that is. And then um. I just kept reading, man. I just monitored it and read it. I don't even be on Twitter, man. This dude kind of, he kind of made me just look at it because I wanted, I, I'm tired of hearing people uh, forwarding me stuff and, and, and telling me what he said. So I just start checking it out. And I'm reading what he's saying. I'm like, wow. This dude is like really like going in like, like he's this hardcore dude in the Bay and that he about to just call a shot and say, Nobody in the Bay let short come up here no more. We ain't doing it. Man, my phone started ringing. I didn't call one person. The only person I talked to is Rich, Rich and Forty and maybe a couple of other homies y'all don't know that, that we all know mutual homies. Mm-hmm. Like my homie Chuck Chuck from Dundee. I talked to Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck was like, man, I'm calling, man. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him to chill out. Nothing works. So my phone starts ringing, and I'm getting calls from the Fillmore District, which is where... Less, you know, running the hard line. I'm a, I'm a hardcore Fillmore gangster. And Fillmore is a very respected area of the Bay. But when the phone calls come in, they're like, they like, sure, man, you know what? You can't come around here no more. I'm like, why? They're like, man, we, 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 we bad. And like, we didn't make songs about us. And he's talking about F, F San Quinn's mama. And I mean, just, just all kind of, just all kind of foulness, man. Like, all the stories they're telling about all the years, how everybody were, you know, no matter how, how how much dudes around the city, around the crew, around wherever, would just 
mess with a little powder and be high and kicking it with the girls, he's the one who keeps doing all the drugs all night till he's dropped out his mind and paranoid and doing stuff like jumping out windows and stuff. He's that dude who, who's standing in behind the door, talking to the door, thinking it's the feds on the other side and ain't nobody there. So I mean, the feds. The feds coming to get like just just like tweaker stuff, man. I figure, man. Now I was saying something totally different two weeks ago. I just think really it wasn't even the emotions. He was never mad at me. He was never, you know, he could never really uh, muster up a story that 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 would even say why would you start some beef or what what you mad about. He couldn't even bring up a just this whole that was that article I read on him, man. That was so stupid. He don't know who JT the bigger figure is. All this all this stupid stuff he was saying, man. Come on, man. I just think Marv knew his album was coming out Tuesday. And he's like, what can I do to redeem myself from the dudes who, who snatched the mic from me in, 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 in Seattle a few weeks back and, 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 and threw the crip up on him, you know? And they put it on YouTube. So he, he got to bounce back from that. And I guess, you know, he really couldn't go for 40 because they're, they're too good of friends, you know? Right. And even, like, if you notice, 40 won't say shit about this stuff. And the reason why 40 won't say nothing is because of friendships. There's a couple other dudes that won't say nothing. But then... I'm saying this, if E-40 and different rappers around the Bay knew that this is what he does, he starts a beef, you call him back out, then y'all talk, then y'all squash it, and then, you know, he always come off as, you know, a mess he rock on anybody ever, he ever got into it with. He just ride on him, and he just keeps selling this that he's a rider. Because every time he gets into a beef before there's a confrontation, he strategically squashes it. But that's after he didn't put out a song about this and posted all kind of stuff on the internet. But I, this was his track record coming up. They all been giving him a slap on the wrist. Like, oh, man, that's just messy. That's what everybody I call, they say, man, that's just messy. Man, look at that But I think when you call too short and you say, man, you know, we the homies that was in the group with him. We the click Clack gang. We the Filmo dudes. We, we his dudes. We brought him to Filmo. He wasn't even from the Fillmore. He was from the suburbs of the bank out in Pittsburgh, and his cousins lived in the Fillmore. And after he got out of high school and stuff, he got to hang out with the Fillmore dudes and become one of them. So in the end, instead of, you know, you having lifelong friends, he decides, well, man, I'm, I'm not really from there. I'm just going to leave there and, and look back on them and give, give all them the finger and make songs about them. That was that's all girly stuff, man. But I just like I believe in the integrity of a man. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. I don't mind. I don't mind getting my ass whooped as long as I fight. Exactly. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm just like, man. The, the final straw was when they took the San Quinn is my homie and Messi Mar was my homie too. But San Quinn is as a real dude who I always could talk to and I always knew he stood up stood up as a man. You know? Yeah. And San Quinn did not tell me this himself. Somebody else said, man, you know he made a song. When he said he was going to F dude's mama. And I'm like, man, you did what? They're like, man, that dude, when he was down and out and broke, he spent nights sleeping on San Quinn's mama couch. And I don't know if you've been to that situation, but anybody listening to me right now, a lot of us have had those days as a youngster where you're trying not to be under your own mom and daddy and you're trying to be out there, but you still ain't making it. And one of your partners lets you crash up on their floor or their couch or something. Man, you don't turn around 10 years later and bite the hands that feed you, man. You just don't do that. That's a bad energy. It's bad, bad, bad all the way around. And it show it showed me the integrity of him. I'll tell you right now, in the Bay, we always liked Marv's rap. We always liked his personality and his image. But now that I'm the one who, who's finding out the truth, if I would have knew this truth five, six years ago, I would have aired him out on behalf of the Bay, or I would have not honored him as a stand-up guy. But now I know, now I know this dude, like, he sits down the key, man, like, dude, I called him all around town and got his number. Called him on his Miami number and, you know, answered, but he called me right back. He's like, yeah, who is this? I said, it's short, man, and we start talking. This dude wake up today and put my number on the Internet. <laughs> I've seen that. I'm like, wow, like. Now, how hardcore is he in the world of men? That's all right. I'm saying. <laughs> So basically from this point, man, after you aired out and said what you had to say, what, what's going to go on from this point? Is it going to be some more back and forth? Or you just, you you washing your hands from the situation. You done. You said what you had to say. No, I stopped because my battery died. I'm not stopping until <laughs> Tuesday. Till. I'm promoting this album for him. It's the best promotion I'm ever going to get. I heard I doubled his Twitter followers. I'm, mm. I'm working with him. Wow. He talking about I don't, I don't put nobody on. I'm putting him on. Man, you know what he did, though? What's that? Because that would have never probably never got to meet each other. That would never be homies. We're going to be homies forever now. You know who that is? Who that? His old homies and my homies. We all cool now. 
We done powered up last night, man. We got the invite to the film mode. They want to make some music. They want to hang out, man. It's, it's, it's so many young dudes under the age of 25 ran to the rescue. I put the word out. I said, come down to my studio, and if you're riding with me, I can't really do this all by myself because, uh, you know, I don't have a lot of energy for this dude. But if y'all really want to stand up for your OG, I got a stack of beats. knocking beats. Man, I, I done made about 20 songs about this dude. Man, he don't really understand. Like, the, the Bay is so mad at him for picking me. Out of like, anybody. anybody. Yeah. You pick me, man. Yeah, I, I actually nah, see some, some folks on Twitter just randomly going back and forth like, Come on, man! Out of anybody, why short? Like you're not, like you said earlier, you're not, you're not the dude to to battle rap or go on a cipher. Do you know what I'm saying? That's not your character. So why have anybody picked short? Well, you heard it from me, man. I tried, I tried, I tried to avoid you, man. But now that whole thing about turning your back on your real homies and talking about you, mama who fed you, I'm like, man, you you the kind of person that don't deserve your own fans. Your fans are riding with you because they think you a real man. Now, what happens when they find out the truth about you? That's what I want to know. I just want to, I'm the message to his fans. And you find out, we sat down and filmed for two, three hours last night. His homies and us just popping up. Everybody in the room just bringing up his, uh, you know, you pull somebody up on charges. When you get pulled up on them charges, you got to face them charges or you, or you banned. So if my homies in East Oakland say, man, short, you got a track record of lately being real fake about a bunch of stuff. If I disappear, I'm fake. Hey, if I come stand in the room with my homies and they surround me or sit me down or back me up against the wall and say, man, you've been, you've been real fake lately, I, I'm going to stand up to it. Yeah. I, we, we've been there before with the homies where we all stand in the room and go, man, you know what? You got to air, air some, some ish out right now. And we air it out. If there's a situation like that where two of the homies might end up outside rolling in the grass, socking each other up. But when it's over... We yeah. homies, man. You know, this dude, Ray, skip town, man. He won't even stand up to, to his own homies, man. Won't even, won't even stand up to everything he did. He can't even face his own homies. When you can't come back to your own hood or you can't be with the real homies, you got to go make up new homies and make up a new hood, you lose, bro. If there's anything that could be done that could be said to him to possibly squash this situation, not only from you, but like you said, from the tons of folks that are now riding for you because we know how, how ignorant shit can get. You know what I'm saying? What can be done at this point? What message would you give to uh, tomorrow right now at this point? That he needs to, um, all he do is Twitter and Facebook. So he needs to use Twitter or Facebook, a serious apology, not just the, the watered down stuff, man, a sincere apology to the Bay Area. You ain't never got to say you sorry to me. You ain't never got to worry about nothing with me. But you're going to say you sorry to the Bay for doing this right here, man. Because the first thing I ever heard and the most thing I've been hearing is, Damn, two shots doing this, mess doing this, two shots mess. Y'all making the bay look bad. I ain't before today. I ain't even really went in on this cat. But all these tweets have been saying, man, two shots and they making the bay look bad. I I have not been participating in Marvin's fantasy world. I didn't even know he was in the fantasy world. I thought he was a real rider. And they saying this dude starts up tons of coke and turns on a microphone at home alone and makes this stuff up. That's just crazy. Now I'm gonna ask you one last thing, man. I mean, you kind of answered it earlier, but knowing that this is his track record and folks telling you this, that, and the third, why even divulge into the whole responding back? Because all my affiliates from the Bay, and, and even and a lot of, you know, we got this image in hip-hop that a whole lot of people thinking and phony and all that, but I know a lot of cats from the Bay who music or not, they're not like wimpy, whiny kind of dudes, you know what I mean? They're not like on that little girl stuff. And I'm saying right now, he can't have that. He's not allowed to have them things he got. He's not allowed to make them believe that he could get off the freeway in Oakland, get out the car, and chop it up with some little dudes, and then they be like, Mar, Mar, you are cat. He can't do it in Oakland. He can't do it in Frisco. I want his fans to know all this time he's been telling y'all, riding with Doc, playing things. The man is buying two and three ounces of coke and starting them up immediately. He's not buying five kilos and distributing them. Is not riding around with a stopper in the bay of like a little savage. He's not even in the bay. Like I'm, I'm seeing it right now. My only thing is like Marv, come out at me, man. Yeah. Get off the phone. Get off Twitter. Let's just go somewhere and holler. We'll bring E40 or whoever you think will make you feel safe. But come on, holler at me. He won't come holler at me. So I made the song. I'm like, where you want to meet? You want to meet me? You want to do that? Miami, L.A. Pick a city, man. Come on, I got people everywhere. I don't, I trip on the plane, I don't need no trap. I got homies everywhere. Where you want to meet? Man, I want to, I want this man to look at my face and say, F you, show. I just want to see him. I just don't think he can do it, man. I, you know what? I would respect anybody that can say that to my face. 
more than anybody that was saying on the computer. <laughs> well, I appreciate you giving us an update from your standpoint. Chuck Dizzle on the line with Too Short, homegrownradio.net, bringing radio back to its roots. I'll let you get back to doing what you do best, bro. Up all night.